Good morning, guys. It's me, Alea. How are you this morning? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, I'm going to tell you about your crystal. Your boy, Ryan. Hello. How are you? Good morning. Hi. How's it going? Gosh, it's busy this morning, huh? Yesterday, there was such a dearth of people. There was like nobody on Periscope. I guess it's Sunday and Mother's Day made it so that just like nobody was coming on. Now there's a whole bunch of people on. Um, okay, guess what? I had to compete with a magpie for my breakfast. Thank you for the hearts. Um, if anybody is new joining me and they are not aware of how to do hearts, you just tap on the screen and that makes the hearts. And while there is, hello, oi, <laughs> and while um, some people are collecting hearts just to be collecting them or whatever, um, it lets me know that you can hear me. Where, my, um, where I'm broadcasting from now and oftentimes places on the island, the connection isn't really good if I'm not on Wi-Fi. And so I don't know if I've dropped out or not. So when I see the hearts, it's like, oh, that lets, are you still there? Okay, that lets me know that, um, that you guys can hear me. Um, I had to compete with a magpie for my breakfast this morning. I don't know if you guys know what a magpie is. Um, it's this little obnoxious bird. Um, and for those of you who know me, you know I'm into the spiritual stuff and whatnot. So um, magpies and I have had an interesting relationship. They almost made me wreck my car when I first came to Hawaii. <laughs> because I kept stopping for them. You know, they would be like standing in the middle of the road and I didn't realize that this was a bird that could fly because they were always walking. And so I kept trying to not hit them. <laughs> and and um, hi there, welcome. Lush ball. Where are you guys from? Welcome. Um, my shows are getting replaced, so when you guys come in, tell me where you're from and what you do, um, particularly if you're broadcasting, so that when people do the replay, they can find you. Virginia, I was born in Virginia. Meredithville, if anyone has ever heard of that. Where in Virginia are you from? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not showing you guys my face this morning because I'm not totally awake. Lorton. Oh, where's that? I don't think I know where that is. Is it near Richmond? Um, this is a noisy street this morning. It's not usually not. Your parents are from Peru. Wow. I knew a teacher from Peru whose name was Wiaru. W-Y-A-R-U-H, I think. And he was a spiritual teacher. He's an amazing man. Um, yeah. Oh, it's close to D.C. Okay, up north. Hello, Life Asus. Asus. Where are you from? And what do you do so that we can um, have other people find you? Aloha. Um, I was telling you guys that I am in Hawaii. I'm on the big island. And um, I, was, I had a fight with a magpie this morning for my breakfast. Um, I'm sitting outside on my lanai. This is my, yeah, that's the railing that you see there. And, um, oh, very nice. What's the name of it? Um, and maybe put up your webpage. Um, uh, so I, I had my breakfast out here and I went back inside to get the camera. And when I came back, there was a magpie trying to steal my breakfast. Um, that's the second run-in I've had with a magpie in, like, three days. Um, when I first moved to the island, they tried to, <laughs> you can have my life, uh, we can all have it. <laughs> um, when I first came to the island, the magpie tried to wreck my car. Um, well, he didn't try to wreck my car, he tried to make me wreck my car. And, um, and then just the other day, I love Hawaii too. Just the other day, a magpie uh, got into my store and it was a baby. So whenever an animal shows up in your life like that over and over and over again, they're telling you something. And I'm getting that the magpie is telling me that it's time for a new adventure. 
and that it's time to speak a new language um, and to connect with people from all over the world. Welcome, this person who just came in, Wanderlust. Oh, wow, I am, I definitely have Wanderlust. <laughs> so, um, motorcycles, they're my least favorite thing in the whole world. They are so freaking noisy. Okay, the crystals for today, and for those of you who don't know who I am, um, my name is Alea Leyland. I'm a crystallologist. I am a, a lifestyle coach, and I am an author, and I do a whole lot of other things. But in order to do those, in I do those things in order to help you find whatever it is that is your passion and to live your life to the fullest. That's that's my overall goal. <laughs> and I use crystals, I use diet, I use exercise, I use all kinds of things to help you do that. So, today, um, the stone for today, yeah, we all need that, you know, it's it's amazing. We all show up on this planet with no, no rule book, no, nothing to tell us how to, you know, how to, how to move forward. And we just kind of sit there going, now what? <laughs> um, oh my goodness. I, um, so I rescued my breakfast, which is a croissant and, um, a raw pudding and, um, tea from the magpie. And this is the crystal for today, tanzanite. Tanzanite is an amazing stone. It has come up before for people and for, uh, for our group reading. And the energy of tanzanite is to help you to articulate psychic insight or psychic information that you may receive. Um, we get psychic information all the time. It shows up in billboards. It shows up in snippets of conversation. It shows up all over the place. And um, a lot of times we don't realize that what we're getting is a psychic hit. We think it's intuition. We think it's, um, I don't know, just passing whatever weirdness. But in actuality, it is a message from spirit. And so Tanzanite, this beautiful blue stone from Africa, helps us to articulate that information. It also allows us to be more aware of anomalies and things that are coming into our experience that are not normal and that are messages for us, like my magpie. Um, oftentimes people have other things that happen in their life, even snippets of conversation that you at first think are normal, but when you are aware of the other dimensions that are out there, you realize, oh, this is an anomalous occurrence, and I need to I figure out what this is and what it means to me in my third dimensional world. On a physical level, um, Tanzanite helps I'm going to answer that in one second. Does it help with anxiety and depression? Um, it, on a physical level, it absorbs zinc, it um, restores consciousness, and it reduces toxins that cause skin disorders. Um, for my person who is, tell me your name, because I can't read that little gray writing. Um, for the person who is, um, concerned with anxiety and depression. Hi, Kathy. Hi, welcome. Have some tea. Have some tea. <laughs> um, for the person who is, Kathy, anxiety and depression are caused by many different things, and a lot of times it is a nutritional deficiency. Um, so something that would help you to absorb more from the food that you're taking in is sometimes more beneficial than all the other stuff that's out there. So it's kind of like fixing the cause rather than trying to go at it from the, you know, this is the symptom. It's like, let's find out what the cause is. And um, I get the sense that you are probably not absorbing 100% the food that you're putting into your body or maybe not even, uh, you know, even 50%. Um, so, while tanzanite will help with depression because it will help you to be more aware of your surroundings, I would not go at it 
for the answer for depression, I would look at, and disclaimer here, I am not a doctor, but um, I can tell you about supplements that I know are helpful. So you might want to look at B12 and folic acid, and you need the full spectrum of B12, not just the B12 by itself, and also vitamin D3. Now the B vitamins you can't overdose on, your body will just eliminate what you don't use. But the D3 you need to be careful with. Um, essential oils, I would look at rose in particular. It's the highest vibrational ro uh, oil there is, rose oil. It's expensive and it's difficult to get pure rose oil, but rose would be the one that would lift your spirits the fastest. And so I would look at rose. Any other questions? Thank you guys for asking questions. ABC Vision, hello, welcome. Where can you get which? Tanzanite? Um, I would, it's spelled T-A-N, good morning, good morning. T-A-N-Z-A-N-I-T-E. Um, I would look first on the web. Um, probably, I would say even eBay. I don't have any for sale. Um, I, I do have some things that are in jewelry and whatnot, but I don't have it for sale. I have it as a part on to um, talisman pieces that I make for people where I make a piece of jewelry for them that is specifically made for them and has all the stones in them that's beneficial for them. But um, as far as just getting a piece of tanzanite, I would say take a look at eBay. Um, they should probably have something there. And it shouldn't cost too much money. Um, if you're interested in that, either uh, the best way to reach me is to pro, um, direct message me on Twitter and remind me my name on Twitter is Alea L, A L A I A L, um, and remind me that we spoke here on Periscope and that you are interested in um, knowing more about the crystals and getting possibly getting a reading or having a custom piece. Um, what else can I tell you guys? I was talking, so I don't use Twitter. Well, you, but you're here on Periscope, so you must have a Twitter account to be on Periscope. Um, the other place that you can find me uh, directly would be Facebook, if you use Facebook. I, um, yes, you can find me on Facebook. My name is Alea Leyland. My Facebook, um, okay, my Facebook business page is The Crystal Guide, T-H-E-C-R-Y-S-T-A-L-G-U-I-D-E, -E, The Crystal Guide, um, and my name on Facebook is Ilea Leyland, A-L-A-I-A, -A. oh really? I didn't know that. Um, A-L-A-I-A, -A, and then the last name is Leyland, L-E-I-G-H-L-A-N-D. Um, for those of you who listened to this and found it valuable, I'm about to sign off. Um, please swipe to the right and invite your friends so that they will, this will show up in their feed and then they will be able to watch it later. And um, I look forward to hearing from you. Again, my name is Alea Leyland. I am a crystallologist and a lifestyle coach. And my job is to help you find your purpose and live your life to the fullest. Thank you so much. This is the front of the set of cards that I'm using because it's easier to use cards than it is to um, carry around 400 stones. <laughs> Have a great day, you guys. I will talk to you later. I'm going to do a few broadcasts today, some from the beach possibly, and I will see you the next time around. Aloha for now.